Elijah was here at Lake Overholzer celebrating his 11th birthday with friends when he was swept under the water. His mom tells me she didn't think that celebration would be his last. This is hard. It just. I just didn't know that would have been the last one. It was two weeks ago today that Holly experienced a nightmare she can't wake up from. I don't even want to accept that he's gone. He's still alive to me. Elijah was celebrating his 11th birthday at the lake with friends when him and 10 year old Kai Baker were swept under the water where they would later drown. That brings me a little bit of peace knowing that he wasn't alone, you know, because uh, him and Kai, they, the, the, young, they, the little brothers. The gut wrenching feeling now engraved in her memory. Like I just knew someone was not right. I, just knew it. I heard the sirens. I heard it. And I've always prayed, you know, if I heard the ambulance, if I hear sirens, I'll pray like, you know, like, well, whoever it is, do it, you know, get there, you know. I did not know. I did not know it was for Elisha. Holly says the community has been a big support, raising over $17,000 for his funeral expenses. He was a happy kid, all around the board, outdoors kid, and he could not, <laughs> he couldn't stay out the water. He loves the water. He liked to go swimming. He liked to play, he liked to climb trees. And it'll be the sound of waves that she'll remember her little boy. But I talked to him a lot. And um, and we gonna get him sent off right with the celebration uh, on the 28th. They have the birthday party we didn't get to have. And His celebration of life will be Friday at the Fellowship at Western Oaks at 11 a.m.